Welcome back everybody. Today is going to be a two or three part epic dealing with FBX scenes and rendering them. So the way they're imported is pretty odd. Unfortunately dealing with these scenes is a massive fucking pain because of the way that they're imported. So I'm going to be using a lot of tools from my shelves that you can find in the description if you're interested. If not, all good. Next video I'm going to be doing rendering in Redshift, so um, hopefully that can bring you guys some knowledge. So um, let's jump into this. I'm going to be importing a kitbash from, uh, what's it called? Kitbash 3D, uh, called Ever City or Every City, sorry. And this is a pretty good example of uh, what you can expect from imports in uh, importing FBXs. So yeah, I skipped most of the import there, but you're gonna, on most FBXs, you'll get warnings like these. You don't really have to worry about them. Just click OK. And what you'll get is a subnet of your FBX. Now, take a deep breath and go inside. Yeah. So if I do Control-B to maximize this, you can see that we've got, this is sort of like how it would be laid out in your actual 3D program that this was exported from, maybe 3ds Max or something. You've got nulls followed by, <laughs> followed by uh, all your geo nodes. Um, and if we go and do Control-B again, uh, and this scene scale is pretty weird, so I'm gonna click H uh, and basically each one of these is a component inside a building. So if I was to go and select one of these, I would get the whole building. So there we go. So basically each one of these is a building and I have a way of dealing with this in my shelf tool where it will take the null at the top and then it will split all these out. Even if you have a bunch of other ones underneath it, it will take and put it into a geo node and that's what I'm gonna be doing first. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna be laying out a couple things. So. Um, I'm, or I already know what I kind of want to do with this. I don't want to use any of the materials that are, are brought in by Kitbash. I just want to use the windows and I want to add some materials to these, you know, AC vents on top. And I want to do like a sort of multicolored uh, Balamori looking ass texture uh, along with the windows. So I only basically need three textures in here um, and I'm going to be going in and creating them now. So over here, you've got your shop net. And this is one way of, of containing all your materials. You've got matte net, you've got your shop, and you can also put down these in here. So you can put down a material or a shop net as well. So let's jump in here real quick. And as you can see, there is a couple materials that we don't need since I'm only gonna be using two. So if I go with glass, um, I need to replace this glass shader. So this is GLS. And there's another one called GLS Thick. Um, also, you can do Control F to search for nodes. Very useful. And if you do Shift L on what you've selected, it will lay out the selected. And then I'm going to get Window Shade as well. Bring this over here. And then I'm going to create a Redshift network uh, called Building Shader. And then duplicate it and call it Window. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do Control A and deselect what I don't want to be replaced. Go to my render tools, go to replace material, and then I'm gonna be looking for my window, sh and I'm gonna be looking for building shader first. So just search building, select that, and then it should all just be replaced now. And then I'll select these and replace this with wind, window shader, window shade this one and there we go and the way you can double check if this is working you can just mess around with the open gl shader and you can see that it's replaced everything now which is very nice uh, and the final thing i want to do is i want to find out what these ac units are called so if i bring up my selection click on one of these and click g over on my network view it'll skip over to where that object is and these are called roof things now if this has been named well everything that is a roof thing aka our ac unit or whatever heating will be called roof things so if i do Control f roof things everything in here is called roof things and you can see that all these little yellow objects are roof things 
Very nice. Good job, Kitbash. And the way that I'm going to approach this is basically I'm just going to create a material for all of these and assign it. Um, just using this assign URS mat, I've got a shortcut for it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to call it roof things. Enter. And now this will create and select your material. Your material is going to be put into the mat net. So we've got the material in here. We can, you know, mess around with this, do whatever you want. But uh, now every one of these roof things will have in the render tab the path to our new material that we created. Very nice. And now all that's left to do is to merge these all into one. So as I said before, each one of these represents a building. And I want these to be, you know, basically this to be a geonode, this to be a geonode, and so on and so forth. So if I just do control A, it doesn't matter what's selected, it will only look for nulls that have no inputs. So if we go merge null children and then hide original, you'll get this uh, nicely laid out set of buildings here. Let me drag these up over here. So uh, now if I go and select, I can select whatever buildings I want. These are all a single piece of geometry now, instead of having roof things and bit and glass and all that. And there's certain things I don't want, like all these components to create new buildings and some of the smaller buildings I'm not that bothered about. So I'm going to go and shift, drag over the ones that I don't care about. And some of these maybe I want to scale up because some of these could be massive buildings, I guess. Actually, probably not, but I mean, who cares? Maybe I put them in the background. Maybe this one could be scaled up. But yeah. Uh, now all that's left to do, well, there's a lot left to do, but... Basically, um, first off, I'm going to talk about materials and how they're dealt with inside of Houdini. So if you, in, in this uh, FBX, we've got materials inside geo level. And the way that this works is that it's just putting onto that geo node. And when I object merge this, it's not going to be referenced. And that material is not going to be placed on whatever object this is now inside of here. But if, for example, in here, I have a material salt that will create an attribute that then can be referenced and brought into wherever we go. So in some of these, uh, you'll see that certain ones don't have material nodes or material SOPs, and that's either because inside of the original GeoSOP it had a material SOP, or it had no material at all. Um, but in most of these cases, we have a material on our Geo level, which can't be referenced. So basically what I've done has brought these in and now these can be referenced uh, properly whenever I you know move these around with an object merge. So now that I've done that what I can do is I can select all these and use the other one called merge geo nodes and that's going to merge every single building into one geo node. So now that we're in here um, I, I need to sort of move these all into the center and then we can start copying these to points, which I think I'll do in the next video. Um, we're already at like 10 minutes on my recording. So if I go and then just put down a transform, I'm gonna do minus CEX, minus CEZ to center these, because we don't mind about Y. It might be best to double check that these are centered on Y, but I mean, I mean uh, up on the top on Y. So if I do Y max, is that a smart idea? No, 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 we, we should center these first, C, E, Y. And then I'm gonna put another transform connected to this that we're gonna do Y max on. So that looks good. So now we're centering and then we're putting this up, dropping to the ground essentially on Y. So if I then do Control and X to cut this, I'm gonna do Control A to select all, deselect my merge, and then I'm going to do my good old append copied. And that will append what we've copied. And now we've centered and dropped everything to the ground, ready to copy to points now. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you, I don't know if I'll go into rendering in that tutorial or one after, I don't know. We'll see how long that tutorial gets. Um, but I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and check out my shelf tools if you're interested. Thanks.